Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is going to do One Piece Chapter 670 Review. Now, I finally understand why the island was a wasteland when Caesar Clown first got to the island. Well, not first got to the island, but I understand why it was a wasteland four years ago. And that's because the slime explodes. The slime explodes. I mean, like, I mean, first of all, first of all, Luffy's an idiot. <laughs> Luffy is an idiot, but he's funny. I mean, his impulses in th in this case benefited. They actually benefited Law and everyone else because Caesar Clown was in the middle of a speech, blah, 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 four years ago, then Luffy's like, gotcha. Just right there, off the gate, grabbed him. Speed. <laughs> Straight up got him. Real quick. But, uh, I mean, ultimately speaking, it's like, you should have seen it coming, because that's what Luffy does. He's a man who acts on his impulses, and Luffy, once again, oh, opportunity, take it, and he, he just goes. But, another thing I want to point out is that in this chapter, there was someone so stupid, I couldn't even believe it. I had to read that page, like, three times, like, what are you doing? And it's the one scene where Soul Smoker's men are on the escape ship and a giant blotch of slime falls on that ship. And what happens is the slime droplets start forming into like a little... They, they, they start forming into like a little hunch. And one of the guys says, just push it in the water. And it'll go away. Like, are you like, like what? Like, I just couldn't believe it. I, I could. He, he said, push the slime into the water. I was like, dude. Like, like, are you stupid? Yeah, he's stupid. Went headfirst into the slime, and his face started to erode. I'm like, you deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. If you're really that stupid to believe that you can push slime, push muck evolved times like 50 into the water, th that's not going to work out well for you. That, that, that really is not going to work out well. But ultimately speaking, this chapter, it was okay. It's just basically a lot of, uh, a lot of Luffy and slime hype. That, that's pretty much what it was. But basically, it starts off, and it's the conference. Well, basically, we all know that Robin, Frankie, and uh, Luffy, like, they busted in into the escape ship, and now they're in combat with uh, Smoker and his G5 Marines. And what's happening here is that they're wrecking shop, and <laughs> Tashigi finally manages to stretch or finally manages to extend her smoke hand, but Luffy dodges it, grabs the smoke, and then pins Tashigi inside Smoker's body, and then says, you've gotten really weak, Smokey. I was like, ah. And then <laughs> it got stupid. It got super stupid when Tashigi, when Smoker inside like Tashigi's body starts going hardcore. With the sea stone, uh, with the sea stone, is it called like a jite or like a something? I forgot what that weapon is called. But basically, he starts stabbing at Luffy, and then Luffy's like, and then basically, he's like, you know, like, well, oh shit, like, you know, like, you're going hard with that weapon. And then, and then, you know, and then Smoker's like, I'm Smoker. And then Luffy starts busting out, <laughs> he starts busting out laughing in the middle of their fight. And Smoker's just, PO'd. He's like, this is bullshit. <laughs> He's like, you know, Smoker in his mind. He's going, this is bullshit. Like, seriously. So, I mean, I mean, I don't know. That was just funny. Like, I was like, like, I was tearing up at that part. Like, it really was funny. And then, you know, Luffy decides to opt out against fighting uh, Smoker, because Smoker is obviously not in his original body, and he's not using his full strength. And I'm pretty sure at some point Law is going to return not only Smoker's heart, but also return to Shigi and Smoker to their appropriate bodies. And then, I mean, I thought it was kind of cool how Luffy just, just went like midair, gear second, and like started like warping around, just, then grabs the Shigi slash Smoker 
It's like, yeah, yeah, I'll go easy on you, you know, since you're not in your actual body. Frankie makes a, you know, laser beam and he blasts a hole through the laboratory and then they're about to invade. And what happens here is that, you know, that's when the slime comes down. That's when Mr. Retard Marine decides to dive in. And then they light this thing on fire. Which I thought, I thought it was a smart move. You know, I thought, okay, fine, you know, light, light on fire. That makes sense. Good stuff. And then it explodes. I was like, and it was a big explosion. For that much slime, it was a big explosion. I was like, okay, don't fuck with the slime. I mean, I do find it kind of weird, though, because there was a large portion on of slime in the uh, volcanic side. So why didn't that slime explode? Like, why didn't that slime explode? I mean, maybe it's because it was so big and you need, like, a massive amount of heat in order to explode something that large. But then again, I mean, this is an island that Akainu made that is completely immersed in, like, heat and lava and fire. So, I mean, I have no idea. Maybe that was a mistake on Oda's part. I'm not too sure. So, I mean, that, yeah, a little bit of a plot hole right there. Um, and basically, the thing is that this shows you how, back four years ago, the island itself became a wasteland. Because... What happened was the accident was the creation of slime. Okay, fine, fair enough. And what happened was that at some point the slime probably exploded, causing the island to rid itself of any, uh, you know, like that's why there was so much destruction, laboratories, like that's why most of the laboratories were, were like destroyed, why no life could live on the, live on the island. And then the residue of that explosion came in poisonous gas that filled the, uh, atmosphere of that island. So, that's how it became a wasteland four years ago. You know, the explosion of the slime, the wasteland, and the poison. And then how, you know, I mean, again, you got to admit, it's pretty impressive that, you know, that, that someone like Caesar Clown could reform and make a living creature out of that slime once again. You know, that, that's impressive stuff. Um, and then, at what happened, and then, like, we see a little confrontation between Zoro, Brooke, and Sanji Nami's body against a larger version of the slime. Not a complete version, but a larger version of the slime. And then after that, at the end of the chapter, what happens is basically, we all know what happens. Uh, <laughs> basically, um, I, and I, I was surprised too, because I was thinking that Caesar Clown was going to stay inside his laboratory, but he didn't. He came outside, was on top of like the half-sunken marine ship, or was it the one outside that Law destroyed early on? I'm not too sure. But he's on a marine ship, and he's laughing, and he's, like, bragging about slime, and how once it's fully formed, it's gonna rape everybody, and you're all screwed, and then Luffy, gotcha, and, like, that was the, that was the end of the chapter right there, just gotcha, hold on. So, and obviously, he has the hockey, so, he's not letting go. <laughs> he's not letting go. Hockey up! <laughs> I love hockey, I... I love hockey, but um, but that being said, uh, in my opinion, a funny chapter one piece, definitely funny. When it comes to structure, overall story, it's okay, uh, not that bad. But uh, basically, you know, hockey up. Gotta love the hockey. Enough said. Gotta love the hockey. I mean, the fact that Luffy was able to grab the smoke itself, you just gotta love hockey. You gotta love hockey. End of story. I mean, I love hockey. All right, people, I. Love hockey. You love hockey. We all love hockey. Not the actual sport hockey. I mean hockey. Okay. So I'll see you guys. Like, I mean, do it. Like, I, I, I'm black. I don't. I don't even dig hockey. You know what I mean, whatever. Fine. Screw it. I'll see you guys later. Cause there's no real, no real plot, no real, you know, twist or turns. It was a simplistic chapter. Everything was there for you to enjoy. Though I do, I am curious, because we may see some of Zoro's hockey ability later on, if he's actually going to fight this slime. He may actually start cutting the slime into pieces, and actually start doing actual damage to it, since he does have quote-unquote hockey ability. So, or maybe Brooke might freeze it over, who knows, right? But I'll see you guys later. This is the King of Lightning. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace. Have a nice day.